What is up YouTube? Back again with another Cadillac CTS video. So uh, my wife's car seems to encounter a lot more issues <laughs> than my truck does. So uh, I guess these are fairly popular, common car, lots of issues. So uh, today the issue is this door. Uh, it doesn't open. The only way to get this open is to actually open it from the inside. It's got the passive locks on it, so from the outside, does not open. So we'll go outside, I'll show you what I'm talking about, and uh, we'll get into how to fix this. All right, so here we are on the outside. You hear all of them. Now when I go to open it, it won't open, no matter what I do. Go back to this one, opens, go around to the driver's side, opens, you can hear when you open the front doors, that motor, there's a passive lock and uh, basically it's like an electronic lock mechanism which makes no sense but you know it's a Cadillac but so, I haven't had luck finding one of these locks. I don't want to spend 300 bucks on a new one. So I went to my local scrapyard, found this is actually what we're going to be replacing in it. Um, this is a two switch mechanism. Mine, from looking, is a single switch one, uh, which costs more money for some reason. You think if it had the extra wiring that it would be more, but no. But so uh, these little multi-function switches right here are what are bad. And uh, I played around with it at the junkyard and you can hear. They both work, so I'm gonna try to replace this guy and see uh, if that does the trick here. All right, in order to remove the panel, first gonna have to take this little piece out. It's normally a screw back there. Mine is actually missing. Surprise, surprise. So we'll go down to the next step, but uh, typically you're gonna have a screw. I'm not 100% sure if it's a star key or a screw there. I'll uh, look on one of the other sides and let you know later on. All right, next step in removing the panel is getting this piece off right here. Typically just kinda pull out like so. And we're gonna have a screw here. And there's a screw down here. And then other than that, it's just push clips the rest. We're just gonna pop the door right off. Well, we're gonna lift it from the sides and bottom. And then at the very top of the door, we're gonna have to lift up to get it out of the sill. need to see me actually get this back. Get it all off. Wife's gonna be pissed. I'm getting the door handles all dirty. That's what happens when you go and get your part from the junkyard. Alright, so then next we're just gonna that back. Hold on. Yeah, you guys slightly missed all that, but it actually comes off really easy. So you just kind of pull the panel out, and then we're going to pull it upward to get it off of the sill. Comes in the back. you what I'm doing here in a second also. Oh yeah, yeah. Alright, but 
you see here on the back of the handle here there's a little clip here and uh, when it goes in I just use this and I push the tabs in on each side so I can pull it out and then you can just lift the ball out of that area kind of show you so you understand a little more here this is what holds it in you see so the ball goes in the end of it and then there's these two clips so I just push the tabs both in like a screwdriver I actually used a little allen key for it this time but once those pinch in you can pull it out and then this just easily pops off all right so now our lock is gonna be behind this nasty little shield so I do have a different plug than this one for sure because this one's got this big plug it looks like this one has the round plug so we are definitely a different plug here so I'm probably gonna have to solder this switch into here which we'll get to um, this isn't really a how-to replacement if you were doing it you could easily just uh, buy the handle for 250 bucks I'm trying to show you how to just get this switch and replace it on any model unfortunately I couldn't find the right model so we're gonna make it work all right first step to getting the handle out once we get everything out we're gonna pull this plug and uh, let me take you off the tripod Let's see if we can see in there probably not hold on let me turn the flash on there you go you can slightly see it but that's what we want to get right there it is a t25 star key jesus those are on there tight So that one's all the way loose. Okay. So we're just gonna come over here now that it's loose. We wanna take this little guy out. See, I actually use this very lightly in the corner just to pop it away. I didn't want to scratch anything up there. But so that guy slides right out. And you can see their little switches are right down here. go so in order to do that I just kind of held down on one of the knobs on the inside to release it from the spring and you can see whoop, just comes out so here's our handle mine does not have the switch on the end right there that's the wiring I bought or bought but the wiring I got from the junkyard has that so we're gonna have to splice the wires like I said earlier but now we got that off we got a T25 right here
already. So here's the whole lock mechanism from in there. This is what's bad on it. So when we get it in here, they say you cannot buy the switches separate, which is stupid. But all we're gonna do is kinda same thing we did on the other clip. We're gonna push one side in, and we're gonna push the other one in. Whoop. have it. That is what was bad. I mean, yeah, <laughs> definitely bad. You can see this one. There is no click anymore. And then this one's just broken. It doesn't work at all. Oh, oh, I got it in. It was like cocked out. Yeah, those two switches aren't good now. So, essentially, it's the exact same thing. We got four wires. My multi-function switch that I got from the junkyard. Right here. It is the same exact little guy. It's got four wires, so. I mean, it seems like the only thing to do at this point is to splice those together and uh, see if we can get them to work, because, I don't know, let's see if we can hear. No clicks, no clicks. So I'm gonna say it's bad. If I push it really hard, I can get a little click out of it. But I think that's just it coming back up. This one, you clearly hear when I push it, there's a click. So let me uh, go ahead and splice these all up now. The key when you're doing this, so you don't start a fire <laughs> inside your car, I'm gonna kind of stagger the cuts. Like I'll cut one here, cut one down here, cut one a little lower, that way it's not four cut wires on top of each other. A little side note, uh, I noticed when I was doing it that the color orientation was different. Same, same wires, different colors. And I'm like, huh, I wonder if they did something different between them to make it so you couldn't use them compatibly. And uh, this one was black, where this one you can see where the wires go. The other one was black and you couldn't. So I kind of broke it apart. I noticed you got a positive and a negative going up top and then a positive and a negative at the bottom on the one that was in my car. Now the one I'm putting in, you can see orange and blue gray and green so they're actually the wirings exactly the same they just routed them different and made one so you couldn't see that way if you used the two panel one it would appear to be a different switch but it's actually the exact same switch so if you if you do need one and you get it from the junkyard either switch is compatible and the wire colors should match up identical don't worry about the order they're in. They're in a different order. Whether you have the two or the one switch model or the two switch model. So the colors are still the same. Match them to the colors. So I'll be right back once I get these spliced. But as you can see how I said to stagger them. This is what I'm talking about when I cut this harness. They're at different lengths. So if it's if these uh, wires pulled apart, they wouldn't touch each other that way you're not going to start a fire if something pulls apart accidentally but uh i'll be back we'll get this in there and see if it works Alrighty, so i'm back again there's the actual part number if you wanted to know what i'm actually replacing you can't buy it separate but so here we go wrapped it up all nice like the dealer would as you see here's my 
little used switch panel. Um, basically screwed either way. This is uh, kind of like my ghetto rig way of fixing it without having to buy the $200 handle. If this doesn't work, um, I, I'm going to be in the same situation. The door's not going to open, so there's not going to really be any testing. I'm going to assemble it. It's going to go back kind of the exact same way that it came off. So uh, I'll do a little step-by-step, -step, show you how to uh, assemble everything back together, and then uh, keep our fingers crossed that this actually works. If it doesn't work, I'll uh, still post the video, and uh, that way you can actually see what needs to be replaced if you can find the right harness and I'll keep looking but this is the best I could do at my junkyard in the last few months uh, I just kept finding the ones that didn't have switches at all which I, I guess is more common that they don't have the passive locks and uh, this is the first passive lock one I was able to get my hands on so figured I'd give it a shot if it doesn't work I'll have a replacement video when I actually get the correct part but so when holding the handle here do, 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 see the slot it goes in we want these two little teeth clips that are going to pop out on this side here. That's how I unlocked it. So we're going to push them in this way, I believe. And uh, bear with me. Yeah. Yep. It just slid right into play. They both work. So uh, before uh, I'm going to pause this real quick, I'm just going to clean this shit out, make sure no dirt gets in it right off the bat but uh basically the reason these go bad is when you open it rain gets in and it just sits in there pools up on them and they, they short out so it's a real common issue on the cadillacs so hopefully this works out took a smudge of the grease off of here and wiped it all in here make sure it's got a nice little lubrication over them but uh other than that, I'll start putting it together and uh, let's see if this works. All right, so what we're looking to do here is I'm gonna hook that screw. We're gonna kind of go in through this side of the door, feel where it is, and we can hook this to hold it in place. And then we'll go on the other side. Let's see, we're just gonna kind of nagle the handle in. We're gonna come. Back on the other side here. Alright, so now we're just gonna tighten this bolt. So this is probably the most difficult part. You have to reach inside, which it's hard for me to show you while I'm doing it, but kind of got to reach in and you can see now it like gripped in, but uh, you have to lift. I kind of got to lift, got to completely go around to show you, but there's this big knob guy right here, at the very top. God, I can't even show you with my hand there, but uh, that knob, you got to kind of move it, hold it downward like that, and you can feel when you have it down enough that it'll clip in, and uh, other than that, Thought I would note that that's like the hardest part is just clipping that handle itself back in. But we got it. Alright. So the next uh 
little endeavor is going to be getting this one in. Oh, of course. I'm going to do that part first. All right, well, do the same thing but reverse. Make sure you put these guys in first. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Again, you kind of no. Nope. There we go. Got it. So now, make sure that one is all nicely lined up, which it looks like it is. This guy is going to go in, and this last screw that's in here is going to thread right into here to hold that into place. I think I might have to open this. Get that guy in. And then, if you remember, this is just that first bolt that we removed. You can kind of see him right there. So I'll tighten that one, and then I'll be right back. So the moment of truth, and oh, it works again. Would you look at that? Saved 245 bucks today, guys. So uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you all for uh, watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. I'm gonna have a bunch of videos coming up. I don't know if you can see here, but uh, I got a big project going on with my car and uh, I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming out for that as well as a lot of other repair videos. I gotta do a water pump. I'm probably gonna do all the belts and stuff with it on my truck so I'll get to that and then uh, I'll show you a little bit here, a little glimpse of what'll be in the future. It's my little project car I've been working on. I did a lot of rust repair on it. I live in Chicago so rust gets really bad. I did the whole cross member down there, subframe, and all the strut towers. I actually had to cut this strut tower out, weld the new one in. Got a nice transfer case and transmission over here, almost ready to go in. And I have an awesome motor upstairs, which I'll uh, have debuting in another video here. And uh, But we'll definitely have some project car videos, so stay tuned for lots of future content.